Hey everybody, welcome back. Voice reveal right off the top here. Feeling a little bit better today, still sounding a little bit stuffed up, but we'll get through it. And, and having a good time playing some Super Auto Pets, let me tell you. I don't think that the Tamarind is going to do anything for us, but I'm a simple man, especially ever since they added... Um, like, with the health refund? Let me be a lord of the sausages. How does that sound? Um, ever since they added the health refund, if there's two of something in a shop, I'm sorry, that's what I'm going to take. We draw this. Okay. So we would like to get some trumpets to enable our tamarinds. Whether or not... We, you, look at this. We, we did. We did just that. I'll place you. I'll roll you. I have no idea who is most befitting an apple. Here's what I would say. I would say you can add a goose, even though I don't think a goose is that good. I think you can add a... Wait, we need it like this. Maybe like that, then. Um, we'd like to add a goose, just because I think it gives us the best chance of, of winning or drawing this round right here. And we're not too worried about any of these units making it into the late game, because if they've made it into the late game, we've already screwed something up. I have already screwed... I'm, I'm dumb. I'm actually... I'm, a, I'm stupid. We still won the round. We need to have the Groundhog in front of the freaking uh, Tamarin in order for the Tamarin effect to work. Okay, we have a level for a unit that as of right now has not done anything. But hey, what, what if we did throw in... You're not a fainter. What if, what if we threw in a royal flycatcher? I'll combine them for now, just because you make a strong unit. That way, if they're summoning uh, units, we will generate a bunch of stats for ourselves. Well, not much, but we'll, we'll at least do two damage to it as soon as it spawns. And then for the first time in 100 years, we are no longer playing against a build that is actually running a dog. I was hoping we were just going to blow it up. How do I feel about a lizard? I think a lizard can be pretty fun, but I, I don't think it really adds too much to our squad right now. Hi, Tomo. You want to leave, buddy? He was like, it was nice and quiet in here when you were just eating your lunch, but now, now that I realize you're going to talk, I got to get out of here. Okay, by all means. By all means, roll me. I don't like what I'm seeing here, to be honest with you. I'm rolling. I still don't. I'm rolling once more, and I still don't. I'm not going to give you chocolate cake just so you give me, like, two trumpets. I'm, I'm rolling once more. I hate it. I'm rolling once more, and, okay, at least, like, that was really not good. But at least we have a level for next time. We have a level coming out of the possum, and maybe we could add a faint trigger there that provides... The slightest utility, but I doubt it. Come on, give me do something for me here. Did it do enough, dude? What uh, did it do enough? It did, it gave you some stats. I like, dude. The tamarind kind of goes off in the very early game, huh? Who knew? How about this? We got a frog. Um, I actually, I think we can do something with the frog. Sell the opossum to buff. The Osprey, even though I don't think it's that good. Then, put an Osprey at the front, sell your Groundhog, and run a Frog here. Now we're getting two triggers at least out of our Osprey. Sorry, out of our Frog on the Osprey. Maybe not that good, but it's, it's worth something. And then there's another part of me that's like, you having an onion later would be nice. But what if we also just screwed up the enemy team by moving their position two unit up to position one? This squad doesn't really have any scaling potential. I feel like getting them to... to causing some problems for them right now makes the most sense to me. I would say neither mission failed nor mission succeeded yet. My Tamarin. Mission succeeded? Mission highly succeeded. Okay, we're still out here. I have no idea whether that the, the eggplant helped us out. Might as well. You're a tier three and we're on tier three. You're a tier four. You're a tier three. One of the rare lettuce opportunities. There must be an answer. Lettuce me. Lettuce me. Lettuce me. Give, a, give ourselves some gold for next turn. Just because 
Look, on three gold, if there's an avocado and I got nothing else worth buying, hook me up, man. Hook me up. I'm that that's an interesting idea that they got going on. I gotta give them some respect for that. It's all it, uh, all those who oppose the tamarind will die. Like you you got no shot here. Okay, you have a you have a shot? No, you got no shot. <laughs> Something about this level two tamarind's going insane. Sea lion. Friends behind get attack, friends ahead get health. I mean, I do think we could dump a goose and at least try to get like some form of scaling here. I'm rolling. I would. I'm not that interested in the Osprey leveling up. You know what I am interested in? I'm interested in selling an Osprey to have a Slug get out there instead, which will give us even more frog triggers. We don't need the Slug to level up, though. There's something going on here. Hello. Oh, okay, I'll pause for one moment. Bro, this is what I come back to? We didn't just lose. They have four squad members. What, what the heck happened? I gotta watch the replay. I, I gotta troubleshoot this one. How could it have gone so wrong? I thought our squad was kind of good. Did you shoot my, my frog right away? What happened? What happened? Okay, I pushed you up. Oh no, because I summoned units. Then you shoot me and then also get HP. Okay, now, you know what? I'll skip it because I can completely understand what the problem was. Um, the problem was they had a unit that I thought no one but me would ever buy. Roll me. Lettuce. We're on tier four. Four, 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 three. Great lettuce. Amazing lettuce. Let's not worry about this guy for now, okay? We, we take him on a lot of runs. Don't, I, I don't disrespect him. It's just a question of how much I do respect him. And the answer is not enough. Okay, two friends faint. Give the nearest friend behind more. I'm going to say the Tamarin is, is getting past his welcome. We are kind of on a summon build, so we're going we're gonna to throw the secretary bird out there. I don't know if it's going to work. We, 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 basically, this team is weird birds. I've never run even a normal bird team in this game, I think. So, so weird birds is, is certainly outside of my wheelhouse. Oh, if you could kill that dude before he... No, you can't. <laughs> I could have stopped him from making a 37 HP dog, though, I think. I don't know. I still don't think we're punching through this. At least we did do two damage to him out of nowhere, but the dog's simply a little bit too strong. Man. Very strong. We needed to kill the, the weird fish before it died, but it had chocolate cake, so we had to snipe it. The walrus has leveled. I don't think this is like an all-is-lost situation, by the way. Level 2 frog, 3 HP. Honestly, if you have a banana on you, I feel like we get one extra trigger on, uh, on the secretary bird, which again, might not change our world, but we might as well give it a chance. Chocolate's coming up soon, so we're gonna pick up some levels. That hurts, but then I hurt you. And then you summon a slug for yourself? What's going on here? Hey, hey, what's going on here? I think this is working, kind of. <laughs> I don't, I don't, all I know is I keep shooting. I, I just keep shooting. That seemed to go extremely well. Okay, I'll live with that. There's six wins on a team that's a bit out of pocket for me. This feels nice. Feels nice. I'll take another frog, sure. Um, nothing else here really strikes my fancy. Stop trying to get me to level the slug. It seems like the slug has... No, no merit to leveling. Um, if I move you back, you would get an extra trigger at the end. But you would screw up one trigger from the secretary bird. But here's a little trick for you. I don't think the secretary bird is really key to our overall game right now. I don't think it's, it's really causing us a, a whole lot of problems or a whole lot of positives for that matter. Oh my god. This nurse shark is going to eat us alive. What a well-designed team. I, I say that with no sarcasm. Help me? Yeah, we're still gonna die. It was an interesting idea, though. 
At least we're losing to some unique teams. Mostly because we haven't gotten far enough in the game for every team to just be like a, a bear or a bird of paradise yet. Speaking of which, I would love if we had a bird of paradise. We're doing a little buy sell real quick. I don't think a manatee is the way. I'll take my level. Tier 6 boar. I think a boar is good. What is it? It's like on faint, give random friends plus one attack for every... Plus one attack and plus one health for every three attack this has. So this would give out a random stats of 4-4. Four, four. What happens if we, if we level it? If we level it, it would give out random stats... It would give out 8-8. Eight, eight. Listen, I don't think this is necessarily the way, but let me cook for a second, okay? Some people might tell you allowing a 12-8 to just die is not a sensible uh, approach. I'm here to disagree with that. Allowing it to die for nothing, maybe not a sensible approach, but look, dude! Great work from, I forgot this, uh, the, the, the Egyptian hawk, I forgot his name briefly. Okay, get sniped. We're getting lots of stats. Yeah, we still can't compete with a yak, man. We still can't compete with a yak. Fall back. Oh my god. We drew. I'll take it. I'm starting to think that the Egyptian hawk might not be that good. Okay, why don't you level up? I know what else you're thinking as well. Why not move this guy to the back so that he gets buffed by the sea lion for attack instead of defense? That way he gets more triggers. Well, the chocolate cake, unfortunately, only goes off before attack. So we, we want to get the stats early enough in the game. Dude, he's going to go off as a level three now. Do you think that there's a chance that the right play is now this and just becoming the scumbag that we hate to go up against? Trying to basically just turn this into a complete, uh, like, just a bear run. Like, it, honestly, we should sell our walrus. I should have thought of this earlier. We should sell our walrus and just run another slug instead. I love it. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. Keep up the great work! Oh, my God! Okay, I'm, I'm feeling, like, way more confident in things now. I'm feeling a lot better. Bear is the way to go, but I, level 3 frog would be fun as well. But for now, and then roll once. Dude, I think you gotta give, you gotta give the bear a fair shake here. What is he gonna do? Every 5 friendly attacks, he'll do 12 damage to 2 random enemies? Okay, next, next shop, actually pay attention and see if there's a slug in there. Because, like, this, this could change the game bigly. It's already over. Like, as far as I'm concerned, this, this one's already sorted. You didn't even get the tomato me. Oh my god, we're, we're back, dude. Our walrus actually lived through a round, too. That's pretty rare. So that's eight. Okay, we should give the frog priority here. Why? I like seeing level threes, and it was going to get to level three. We'll buy an avocado to pay it forward for next round. Well, basically, it's like saving three gold. It's like banking three gold. We're spending it at the bank. Uh-oh. I, I definitely always hate to see a bird of paradise and a macaque on the same team. Uh, and a level three turtle with a, a, a level two flying fish behind it. Like, that's... Our, our bear is our only shot because our frog got all screwed up here. Wait a minute, though. Let him cook. He's doing it. He's doing something. He he did he did enough. Even with us getting totally screwed on our order, we still came through there. Thank you. Sure? Yes. No, I'm sorry. It's just not the right time. Pretzel goes kind of hard here. Did you just give it to you so that you can uh, give out even more stats when you die? We don't need another frog. We don't need a, a, a doorhead ant. We're really looking for a, a slug. And if we're rolling slugless, then that's fine. We can wait until next round. If there is going to be a next round, we could just add the bear out there and look for, look for another slug. So another level three 
Bird of Parad or level level three macaque bird of paradise run. A little spooky with it, but look at the shy look at the shooting. Dude, it's screwing up the coconut armor something fierce too. Oops. What a shot. It's not over for you though. It's it's not over for you yet. We, we did lose. Okay, so the, you know what? That just means that there is gonna be a next round. We get our level three bear. We don't need this. We need something to replace our walrus. What about another bear? Is that too crazy? I think it just might make me the biggest scumbag of all time. I'm ready to give it a try. Listen, listen, okay? I would love to get the bear to level three. It doesn't seem like that's likely to happen. Let's take the stats for now. I keep putting the stats. But listen, when I put four stats on you, you generate another three, three for me, I think. Okay, and the bear's getting moved around. Maybe not that big of a deal, I'm not sure. This team looks mighty familiar, that's for sure. And yet, on the other hand, gets smoked. And our bear didn't get even a single use, plastic or otherwise. Smoked. Smoked. Smoked! Honestly, I gotta give you respect for the eggplant. The eggplant took me out. It's all right. I'll, I'll settle for... I mean, nine is good. We started strong, petered out, and then got a little extra strength later. But nine is still pretty good. I, I thought we were cooking up something nice there. But let me be... Um, let me be um, um, an improper poet. Like this one I heard of, uh, you're never gonna believe what happened to this guy from Nantucket. I think you're in a lot of trouble, my man. I think I'm in a lot of trouble, my man. I think I'm I'm dead. I think okay, you never never mind. I think you got me. I really thought my goose was gonna cook you. Turns out my goose is cooked. It should be like this. But we'll run this to avoid a, a goose, potentially. Because if they goose, it only screws up our opossum. It doesn't screw up our bulldog. But even if it screwed up our bulldog, as long as we survive the first hit, we'd be okay. I don't know, whatever. Three tamarins. It's an interesting setup. Very shrewd. You, you did some work to, uh, on me on that one, but you know what? Anytime you're leaving the first few rounds with a dub, I'm not feeling too bad. It would have been nice to have two, but I'm not feeling too bad nonetheless. Let me get my level. Sure, you know what? We can actually sell the possum into a betta fish, and they're like, it's better than yours. I could teach you, but I would have to charge. Let's buff the betta fish and have it also help out our dog. This seems to me to be... I, I gotta take some of the pressure off myself, because here's the thing. I'm always like, it feels like this squad has no future. But why am I putting so much pressure on my squad to have a future? It's round three. Just for your squad to have a present would actually be like better than average. And, and it definitely had a present. That's why today is a gift. I'm just thinking, okay? I'm just having a little think. You would give 8-4 if I chocolate caked you. But I don't think you're really chocolate cakeable. I like that... I've never really run like a turtle flying fish summon build. I, I would love to have the opportunity to give it a chance. Right now, it's obviously not doing much for us. Uh, we'll at least pop you down here. Like, free level next time. I feel like I'm pessimistic about our chances on this particular round, but a leveled up turtle into something that summons other things? I'd be starting to feel a little bit more positive, that's for sure. Hey, some more HP, uh, it doesn't matter because we've been rendered weak regardless. We are going to lose this one. But it's okay, losing to a baboon is kind of, it's kind of nice with it because you don't see them that much. They're obviously doing something cool. Okay, sea turtle me. On knockout, activate the faint ability of the nearest friend behind. I've like legitimately uh, never seen this work for me. <laughs> Not saying it's impossible, 
I'm, I'm merely saying my own experience with it. Hey, can I get something that summons other things, by the way? You will summon a dog. But in order for this to work, I know this looks very strange. No, you, no, well, yes, you will. I think this is genuinely the way this has to be set up right now. Is it allows our dog to get six extra HP when it comes out. So it'll be like a 4-10 dog. The stats are not that impressive, but I think that they'll be relatively impressive given where we're at in the game, which is very early. Bro, 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 bro. It's a 3-9. That's, that's much worse. That didn't allow me to get what I needed. Okay. That makes sense, though, now that I think about it. Okay, we need more trumpets if this is the way we're going to roll for now. This is also something we're, we're interested in trying out here. So I think you combine your turtles. doesn't really change the efficacy you're getting here. And then you try running your lizard who gets the buff instead of the betta fish, which might be able to make your lizard tail get a bunch of extra HP. I don't think we need a second betta fish, but I would freeze it for later. And the bulldog is, is gone next round. The bulldog is gone. This feels like it shouldn't be completely falling apart. <laughs> they got their own trumpet build. I see they got a little trumpet. I, I think we beat this team. I do. We're going to have a similar amount of trumpets. But my dog is going to come out with like a huge HP bonus. That's a lot. Okay. Feeling like we're, we're back in there. Would love to see some flying fish. Apparently they've been removed from the game. I only see them uh, on my opponent's side for some reason. Okay, how's this betta fish doing? It's given 8-4. Not bad at all. On faint, you gain 8 trumpets. Honestly, I would be content to just let that one ride. And then if, if we're a summon build right now, which we are, why don't you just throw a monkey out here as well? That way we're getting one extra trumpet, which is going to get the benefit of having all that extra attack. There's there's a little bit of temporariness going on here. But this this is the finally the lizard working as intended with our level 2 turtle backing it up. Spin that a bunch of 27s trading favorably. I mean that was very good stuff. I, mean, I got no problems with that. That takes us to 4 and limited future prospects but but liking what I see right now. Now, you do make sense to double our trumpets, but then we have to rework our position so drastically that I, I honestly say no to it for now. I try to raise our lizard a little bit in my own image. We do want a flying fish. Are we, are we content to get rid of an antelope? Like, you two are kind of a package deal. I think we got to try to make the flying fish work. I'd rather get rid of the... I'd rather get rid of the antelope first and keep the Niala. Just because you're you're a 3-4 that spits out a 4-4. And also you give us an 8-8 eight, eight when you die. So there's, there's a lot to like. And then let's screw up their position too by pushing it forward. I feel like the eggplant and the tomato, I'm still wrapping my head around. But I like them. So moving their groundhog to the front, I think, changes nothing for them. They're going to have a lot of trumpets. It's got to... You got to know what a crumpet is to know what cricket is. Okay, they've summoned uh, a, a replacement of the unit they already had. We've we've summoned one of you. You're going to get a lot of trumpets, but our lizard is still kind of going off with it. And when I say kind of, I mean like really kind of because it's not... Please, please. Okay, no, it's doing just fine. Okay. I would love to see this flying fish level up. I, I feel like we, we're, we're, we've cooked up something a little nice here. Let's give this a try. We don't really need more spawns. More flying fish, thank you. I would love to have my turtle not get sniped. And, and the most likely unit to get sniped is backline because of tomato. Now, nobody on the squad has any stats. But that is not that rare. Okay, yet again, the eggplant has not proven that, that worthy here. But they're, they're, when it pops, you just can't stop. This one looks close right now. I, it, it seems like it's going to come down to... What a summon, dude! They're making great use of the beluga. 
Okay, you got me. I'm, I'm compelled to say good job. I'm compelled to demonstrate good sportsmanship. You got my team, but better. Fair enough. But how about my flying fish, though? I don't really need our summons to have 20% of your attack. Although now I'm like, dude, but if that could make our lizard go insane. So we're completely deviating from our previous strat. We've even dumped our Nyala. Lizard level. Maybe a, maybe a turtle level. I'm thinking if our lizard could just get like some permanent HP. Oh, this is not going to be good. <laughs> If our lizard could get some permanent HP, we would have a shot. But for now, this is looking horrible. Don't even insult me by putting out a 2-2 dog. We're going to be on 1 HP. And I, I honestly think that's probably where it's going to where it's probably gonna end. How about this? How about this? How about this? I, I don't know, man. It's just what was available. And forget about the... Like, the bear might be the right pivot out of this, but... I'm, I, let me let me cook. I know I've said it 20 times in 25 minutes so far, but but continue to let me cook, okay? Hey, we screwed up their squad here. Because we, we moved their yak to the front. And now that's what I wanted to see, dude. You see that lizard's tail? It, it didn't end up popping off quite as much as I hoped that it would, but what are you spitting out? Okay, I, I see the game plan here, and I think you're going to best me. I'm just going to level with you. I think you got me. I know you got me. Maybe I should... A wolf and a flying fish and a turtle I should have put more respect on. And a slug, and a slug. Golden poop. I had to pay... Back in my day, I had to pay 5,000 bones for that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. We'll be back and we'll try harder next time. I'll see you then. See ya.